Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the power by dex function net work days. Net work days. What is the net work days? It means the days, the working days done by an employee and excluding the, the weekend and the holiday, holidays. So as you can see in the syntax, we have the start date, end date, weekend and holidays. Start date and end date these are the compulsory or mandatory parameters and weekend and the holidays these are the optional so you have to mention the start date and the end date and if you want like subtract the number of days from the working days then you can include the weekend say we have we have the list of the weekends with their number if you mention the one then it's a sunday saturday and if you take two then it's a sunday monday and if you take three then it's a Monday, Tuesday, and if you take four, then it's a Tuesday, Wednesday. So up to seventeen, you can take the the list of these holidays as a weekend. Now, the last parameter is the holidays. In holidays, it's optional. Suppose you have the list of the or you have the calendar of the holidays, then you can include that calendar days in this syntax. So net work days formula will subtract these number of holidays from your working day. Before the practical of the net work days DAX function, first of all we check the data. We have a sheet, employee ID, employee name, department and attendance from attendance to. It means these are the dates from this date to and this date the employee bought. And now we have to calculate the how many days the employee bought, excluding the weekend and the holidays. And we have the list of the holidays. Say, this is the day. These are the holidays. So these holidays will not be included in calculation of the net work days. It means for calculating the working days. Now we check this function practically. So the data we discussed already uploaded. Now we create a column, new column. Network days, then network days, and first parameter, the start date. And suppose we take example, then month say zero eight and twenty five. Then second and date, again date format two zero two two, then month and thirty and comma next parameter is the weekend so we take one that is the sunday and saturday so and the holiday is the optional so now we check this one so you can see we have the fourth form so how this four has been calculated we check in the date now starting date we have the 25 in august so 25 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 30, there are 6 days, but we have defined the 1, weekend and means Sunday and Saturday, that is not included, so if we subtract Sunday and Saturday from these working days, 6 days, then we have the 4, so 1, 2 and 27, 28 not included, then 3, 4, so that is why we have the night working days 4. Now suppose we also define the holidays, say date and then month and say 26. Now we have the three. Again we check. So the last param it is the holiday, the list of holidays. So right now we have defined only one holiday that is the 26 so 26 is the friday but it's holiday so this friday means this 26 is also not included in the net working days now we test the net work day that's for more function with the actual data so we have the employee id employee name 
department attendance from and attendance to. So we, now we have to calculate what are the actual net work days for an employee. If you check the first entry, 1st July to 31st July, these are the number of days in this month, but the weekend are not included while calculating the net working days. So we create a new column. net for days and first parameter start date say attendance from attendance from second parameters attendance to and third parameter one one means sunday and saturday not included as a weekend so if you execute this one then we have these results. So from 1st July to 31st July, there are actual working days that 23. It means Sunday and Saturday are not included for this calculation. Suppose I want the Sunday as a weekend. So then I make it to 11. And if you check the list, so we have the 11 for the Sunday only. Now, then So now we have the 27. So Sunday not included for calculating the net working day now. Okay. I make it again say 1. Now we have the other tables that is the holidays. In the holidays we have the list of the daily. In this table we have the list of holidays with the date. These are the dates. These are the holidays. And these holidays also should not be considered for calculating the net working days. It means these holidays also should be detected from the net working days. So, in this formula, now third parameter. Third parameter, then because we have to take only one column. So we use the text function value, V A L U S values, then holidays date. Now, if we do this one, so we can check now from July 1st to 31st July, before it was the 23, now it is 22. So we check in this table, is there any holiday on the this month July, so we have the one holiday that is the 4th July. So this day is not included in the networking days. Now, and the same thing we can check other calculation 1st May to 31st May. Then we have to 21, 10, then 30. So this is how you can cal calculate the networking days for a month. So, guys. This was all about the DEX function network days. Thanks for watching the video.